All right, so we're checking out the FreeSky SkyVision HD HD0 monitor in this video. So this is a HD monitor or 720p monitor with a built-in HD0 video receiver and cost $220. Uh, five and a half inch screen, uh, 60 hertz TFT. Uh, so we'll talk about the screen here and what it comes with, but the rest of the stuff that's in the box here, you get uh, this little um, mount adapter here, so you can put it on your transmitter, and it comes with a little transmitter adapter for your transmitter, but the thing with this, I couldn't get on any of my transmitters, is that this hole is, I guess if your transmitter hole is not, is too close to the transmitter itself, this is not going to fit on there. Uh, I believe that they have designed this for uh, larger transmitters, so the smaller transmitters, this one doesn't work. Obviously one side goes in here, and the other side goes in the other quarter 20 screw on the bottom. It's basically for like a tripod mount. You get a manual, it's a paper here, you get this little uh, VTX upgrade cable for the firmware. It works similarly to the original video receiver. A couple of uh, straps and some Velcro. And yeah, that's pretty much it that comes in the packaging. Now, I was previously using uh, my HD0 video receiver like this. And on this old monitor, this is a five inch monitor. Um, and it's only 480p, so the resolution isn't that great. Plus this is not, it's not a very bright display either. Um, so it's a bit hard to fly through this, you know, and, but it's okay, it works. As you can see my little setup here, you guys have seen this before. Um, I just, um, this monitor happens to have HDMI in. Uh, but this one, this screen here is, is a, a little bit bigger. It's a five and a half inch screen versus a five inch screen. It's a 720p display, so higher resolution, so it just looks a lot better. The screen isn't as bright as I would like. I was trying to fly this outdoors. It's only 340 nits, which isn't super bright for outdoor use. So I had to sit under some shade. Um, and it was flyable, uh, but I did wish the screen were brighter. And there's no controls, um, at least in the current firmware that I can tell, where you can control brightness or contrast or saturation. Uh, at least I haven't been able to find that anywhere in this, in this particular firmware. Screen you can see here is very glossy. I have this screen, the screen protector still on here because the screen that's actually under here is even glossier than this. So it's just very reflective, um, which does also does not help for outdoor conditions. Here's the bottom. You have your micro SD card slot here. I'm using a 32 gigabyte card and this is your quarter 20 tripod mount. Over here on the left, you got a barrel connector. This is your typical Fat Shark type style barrel connector, power switch here, and this actually clicks in and turns it on. You can hear the fan going. But you can see that the button actually goes in and out and it actually clicks in, which is nice. You get an XT30 connector here, so if you want to connect the battery directly instead of the barrel connector for power, you can do that. The voltage range for both is seven to 26 volts. And then you get a full size HDMI out. So if you don't want to use uh, the screen, because for whatever reason you want to use a uh, I'll put the HDMI to like some goggles. You can still do that, of course, just like the original video receiver. So perhaps you could use this as a spectator uh, setup here, put it on a tripod, and then output this to your, you know, whatever goggles you have that happens to have HDMI in. That's another way of using this. If you don't, um, perhaps if you can't find the uh, video uh, receiver module anywhere, this is an alternative way to get the video receiver module when you have HDMI out here. The battery go in the back here there's a couple of these strap loops right here I'm using um, some alternative straps here these are a little bit shorter in length for the smaller battery I'm using a 2s battery here so a thousand milliamp hours and then I'm using this little barrel connector to JST adapter for this battery and just hold on the back here pretty nice uh, but that's why I'm not using the straps that are included those are a bit longer for bigger battery but I just want to use a smaller battery and then you have your three um, buttons back here, up and down, and then this one here, if you long press that, that's uh, to get into the menu. Uh, I'll show you that here in a second. This is for that cable for connecting to your video receivers for doing the firmware upgrades. That's gonna work similarly to the original video receiver. You're gonna put your SD card in there with the firmware update, connect up your 
uh, video receiver or video transmitter to this with that included cable. So you plug that one in into the monitor and one into your video transmitter and that'll upgrade that firmware. On top here, you got your connectors for these antennas that are included. These are both patch antennas. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this style of patch antenna is called. If you guys know in the comments below, let me know. I'm pretty sure they have this a name somewhere on their product page, but I have no idea what this is called. This is directional, obviously. So you want to point it at the quad wherever you're flying. And uh, the, these are RPSMA connectors. So these are RPSMA antennas. You have two of them. You have some lights on here that I'll show you uh, what's being received. There's two other lights here for, I'm assuming the original design probably had like a, another set of connectors for patch antennas. As far as I know, only these two connectors are active. So you get these two lights here, but these are don't turn on at all. Um, it's possible that there might be some UFL connector somewhere on the board internally where you can attach some patch antennas, but this one here only has two antennas in terms of the setup, and that shows up also on the screen as well. You only see two uh, receiver signals for the um, actual screen, whereas on the original uh, video receiver, you get four, and I think that's what those two lights are for, but uh, I don't think they're active right now. All right, so I got the monitor on here. It seems like whenever you turn on, it always goes back to R1. And then uh, you have to use the buttons on the back here to select your channels. It has your standard um, R1 through 8 and F2 and F4 as the channels available. I believe that's pretty standard on all of the um, uh, HD0 video receivers. You got your battery voltage there for that's the batteries on the back. You got your signal um, strength indicators right here for the two antennas and then that number goes from zero to eight for the signal strength and then this little dot here which is gray means it's an indicator if it's recording or not i have a quad over here with the hd zero turned on I'll go ahead and i'll let's see if we can't um, find that channel all right switched over to r8 this is the video feed from the quad i can't show this for too long because these uh hd zero video <laughs> transmitters heat up overheat very quickly uh, i am very close here but you can see the signal strength isn't that high uh, it is says eight right here it is recording and you can see the video feed here um the latency i can't really tell it doesn't seem to be terrible um seems fine seems to be same as the a video the standard video receiver but i don't race and i don't really use these for like aggressive flying but it, in terms of indoor flying uh, typical outdoor cruising totally fine i don't really notice the latency whatsoever on this monitor but here's just a sort of a closer look at the detail that you get on this monitor it's pretty good obviously 720p panel and uh 720p signal so there's no um yeah, there's no upscaling or downscaling of the video signal. What you see here on the screen is pretty much what you would see if you're wearing some goggles. So the detail is pretty good on this monitor. All right, so some pros and cons on this setup here. The Obviously the biggest con here in terms of trying to fly through the monitor is the, um, the brightness of the screen isn't as bright as I would like. I think a sunshade for this would be uh, pretty good. Maybe the, you can probably 3D print something or cut some foam out or something like that and or cardboard and use it as a as a sunshade. I think that'll go a long way in uh, helping using it in outdoor sunny conditions. I think for indoor use, it's totally fine. You can tell here um, in, in, in inside, uh, the screen's bright enough for indoor use. Now, obviously, this is coming in at about $220, which is about the same price as the uh, HD Zero video receiver module. By itself so basically you're getting a, a monitor without any additional cost but you are losing the two extra antennas so i guess it kind of depends on where you're flying and whether or not that those two extra antennas will come in handy or not obviously you can use uh, different antennas on this one if you want better reception or different you know if you don't think these antennas are appropriate for what you're uh, flying overall it's a fairly lightweight setup uh compact with, with a slim battery in the back so uh, I think this would be pretty good for a spectator setup. So, you know, if you're at a race, for example, or a bunch of pilots flying HG0, this is going to be able to obviously tune into all the different pilots, and it's a good thing to use 
you know, handheld and um, it's going to be for, uh, pretty good as a spectator setup in my opinion. And for whatever reason, if uh, you feel like the screen isn't good enough for you, you can always output the video signal via HDMI to another screen or goggles and use it that way. And obviously then you're still limited by the fact that it has only two antennas and not four. But uh, if you're having a hard time getting the video receiver module elsewhere, this might be a good alternative. It's currently available at Flywoo. I think it's still in stock right now. Link down in the video description if you want to check it out. That's going to do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.